Hello team, how you doing? Here's my response to what I learned today. And But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and tell you three great gems I got from three people. Still waiting on some more to come in, but for right now, I'm not going to mention names. When Jesus came against the enemy, he used scriptures to defeat them. <laughs> no different than us. He's showing us when the enemy comes against you, use scriptures to defeat them the enemy. Name him, claim him, even Jesus did. Also, in Proverbs 6, um, 16 through 19, there's seven things that Jesus hates. And what's neat was the person said, oh, I'm, not, I'm a, you know, I don't think I do that. You know, some of them are like murder and all that, but lying, gossiping. Um, so, so read those and see if anything strikes a chord. Also then, the other person, Jesus is enough pretty simple. He is enough. So what I learned today to share my gem is that, and I love this because I've said this for years. Now I know who actually said it. Um, a gentleman in the uh, uh, missionary uh, pioneer stages years ago at Cambridge, a student at Cambridge, he said, only one life soon will be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. He's the one that came up. Um, C uh, dot T dot stud. Okay, now, fame, uh, in, we started off with a verse, Psalms 104, 31. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. So here's my gem. Um, I love that. That's, that's a, a saying I say all the time, and so should you. Life is a glorious opportunity. Yeah, as a Christian, if. Remember, I'm writing a book, what if, what if, if, it hinges right in the middle of the sentence, it is used to condition us for eternity. See, it's a glorious opportunity. Now, glorious doesn't mean it's a glorious life. It means glorious whether there's ups and downs, trials and tribulations. You know, they all, like the song says, bring on the rain for your glory and your gain. If it brings me closer to you and refines and it refines me. So, there's no escape for the man who squanders his opportunity to pre prepare to meet God. You will never live this day again, so once it's gone, guess what? It's gone. It's gone forever. How you spend it for yourself or for Christ, remember, only what's done for Christ will last. So, my biggest thing, only what's done for Christ will last. Done. Done. That's the key. Today I came up with a majorism along with all my gems. It's like we are to believe in the word of God and everyone believes in, but here comes the second part, which we don't. Then we got to live out. Believe in the word of God and live it out. In and out. Okay? All right. So there you go. Okay. If... If you look at this life gloriously, good or bad, because it's preparing us for heaven, okay? All right. Hey, God bless. Have a great day. I'm keeping this under five minutes, four minutes now, okay? Take care. Remember, armor up to stand up to speak up.